Howdy and welcome to another Bevy video. A few weekends ago, I participated in Ludumdari 53 as part of a collaboration with Johnny from Turbo Makes Games. He's an expert in Unity Dots, which is their high performance data oriented ECS stack. We did some live streams together on his channel and had a ton of fun showcasing the projects we both built. We decided to both make the same game in our two separate engines so we could compare the capabilities of Unity Dots and Bevy. The game we ended up with was a clone of Vampire Survivor, which is a top-down roguelike where the player automatically uses different attacks on timers. Overall, we both made games with almost exactly the same feature set, and we were pretty neck and neck during the entire jam, so I think the final products are super comparable, and it was exactly what I was hoping for out of the collaboration. We've both open sourced our games, and I'll link them in the description if you want to compare the projects yourself. In this video, I plan to talk about my design and experience using Bevy for a 72 hour jam, but whenever possible, I'm going to compare against Johnny's design to see how Bevy and Unity stack up. I'm also planning to look at some performance metrics and talk about using the Tracy Profiler with Bevy, but that will be a future video. I'm working through some job interviews and coding challenges right now, and the stress of that has kind of killed my drive for this channel. Hopefully once I get a good offer, I should be able to realign myself and get back to working here. I have one that I think is really promising and that I'm on the final stages with. Remember throughout this video that both of us were writing game jam quality code, so this isn't exactly how we'd produce a professional final product if we had more time. So without further ado, let's start looking at the projects. The first thing I noticed when comparing both projects was just a raw number of script files that Johnny had to produce using Unity Dots. I produced 7 plugin files, a lib file containing all my components, and a main file with some random systems in the app description. However, his Unity solution seemed to have created full folders of scripts for every single file in my Bevy project. Some of this might be code style, and I have seen people writing similar styles using Bevy, where every component gets its own file, but this seems like a win for Bevy for me. And fair disclosure, I'm going to be heavily biased toward Bevy in my analysis here, so check out his channel to get the pro Unity opinions. A lot of the scripts in his projects are simple definitions of components, and I believe this is just a fundamental rule of C-sharp, that struts must be in its own file with the same name, but I really don't feel like this works great with the ECS design. I went with the approach of putting literally every component into a single lib module where I have all of them public. I'm really enjoying this approach of just having a dump of components, because it makes it super easy to pick and choose components when it's time to create an entity. However, Johnny does have the Unity Editor, which gives him a nice drop-down to add components to entities, so maybe there's some benefit there. There's also the problem of him needing to tie the ECS design back into Unity's existing OOP framework. Where Bevy is natively ECS, and all I need to do is drive component, he would also need to create the offering scripts as glue. I believe he mentioned the IDE he uses has some code gen which is able to automatically create these scripts, but that still seems a little bit less friendly than Bevy's approach. I got the vibe throughout the whole jam that he was having to work much harder than me just to get the same features. I could spend a lot of time away from my desk thinking about problems and pacing, because Biffy doesn't require too much final code, but it seemed like Unity had a few more steps for everything that Johnny tried to implement. There also seems to be a lot of noise in the final Unity code for my taste. For example, we both did bullet lifetimes where they would despawn after a few seconds. All I needed to do was add a timer and take it in system, and call commands despawn whenever the timer finished. This was so simple that I just duplicated the code, and I didn't even make a standalone system for the jam. I do have a standalone system for this in my main RPG game though, which is comparable to what Johnny did. In Unity, however, it seems like first he needed to get their version of commands, which has a very verbose name, then create a job strut and schedule it to run in parallel, and then implement the job strut to execute and do the actual ticking and despawning. Ignoring all of the details here, this is still a complex system to follow compared to the same thing in Bevy, and I really think this shows off the ergonomics of Bevy. This is true for about every system he had to write, and it seems like there's just a lot of cognitive overhead here, and I can't imagine how brutal some of the debugging must be. Even for the follow player entity system, which I believe he uses just for cameras, it seems brutal to have to get the player data and pass it back to a Unity game object. Now I will give him the win on everything related to UI. My UI module is a nightmare of describing all the layouts and text, where he got to use the Unity editor to do a proper design. His code for the buttons is also much cleaner, and I think everyone knows that I'm just not a fan of Bevy UI in its current state. 
One of the ECS design differences between us is that I noticed that Johnny prefers to use super tiny components, which only have a single value in them, where I'm not afraid to stack timers and health values all into the same component. I guess this is just a code style choice, but you might get better performance with his approach. In principle, I think my design is okay as long as in a single iteration of a loop, all the values will be read or written on a component because then they're all in the cache at the same time but it would take a really high entity count to start to see the differences here in performance. We also both had pretty similar system orderings. He could order systems in the groups or before and after each other using the attributes, where I had to use inset or schedule. so I don't think there's really a clear winner here between Bevy and Unity. I do prefer Bevy's way of handling disabling systems though. Johnny was able to set enabled or disabled on an entire group of systems in code, but there's something nice about the automatic nature of Bevy states. This one is probably just a preference thing, so I'll give no clear winner here as well. Overall, when you look at both of our projects, I think the actual core logic is the exact same, but I really just prefer how clear Bevy makes the logic. I feel like it's more maintainable and readable when the logic is just expressed as a single function, instead of being tied into a tree of calls with a lot of generic types splattered across it. Overall, I don't think there's really too impressive about the game I made. I'm really confident with Bevy at this point, and it was nice just to blitz through a weekend game jam. All of the systems and components I wrote are pretty straightforward, and the final game is a very standard style of game, so I hope there's value in publishing the code for people. Once again, I want to give a huge shout out and thanks to Johnny from Turbo Mix Games for having me on, and it was a lot of fun to participate neck and neck through a game jam with another developer. I'm hoping that once I get my job situation nice and stable, I'll be able to get back into making regular content for this channel. As always, thank you so much to my wonderful Patreons and YouTube members, and thank you for watching.